Hey, Ethan. Hi. Do you, uh, do you want to watch me play some Blood Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to be playing a uh, Dark Elf team. I'm looking at their roster right now, and it's a mean-looking roster. Yeah, you should uh, you should tell everyone about it. Uh, four blitzers, two have leveled up with dodge, so they're mean. Um, two assassins, one is really really injured, but still two assassins. Two leveled up runners, and a witch elf, and you'll see all these hopefully do cool stuff in the game. Do do their jobs. This all pretty self-explanatory though. Runners run, which is which, and assassins, yeah. ass assassinate. Like, yeah. Oh, that too. Once again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping track, but I, I'm, I'm getting lucky with the, um, with the kickoff rolls because yeah. I keep getting, I, I keep winning it, and I like receiving. Luckily for me, uh, Nuggen only has eleven players. So if I do manage to injure some of them, he's gonna be down. Yeah. While while I, for the first time ever, actually that's not true because I've had mercenaries before. But for the first time ever without mercenaries, I've got a full team and an extra dude. Called good. Steve Worstman. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's he's the worst man. He is. He's he's not as good as Mikey. When I first looked at the Dark Elf roster, I was like, damn, that's a killing roster. But actually compared to the Chaos team, and just by having that extra point of armor, a lot of yeah, it is on your side. Yeah, most... Uh, about, let's see, um, uh, on his team, his Dark Elves, his Assassins, his Runners, and his Witch Elves all have armor value 7, as, except for the really injured assassin, which is number 6. Yeah. He's He's been hurt, so he's got lowered armor value. So he's got armor value 2, no, I'm sorry, armor, armor value 6, but he's been hurt yet again, so he's also got a strength reduction. I wish he had armor value 2, that'd be brilliant. It would be. Just touch him and he's hurt. I wish, I wish I could. Here I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm doing my best to uh, to not do what I did last round against the Yorks and just try and ra uh, run past. So I'm, I'm figuring I might as well try and punish a few dudes. That might yeah. work. I see he's got his witch off on the front line. I wouldn't normally do that because they're kind mm. of fragile. But yeah, but at least he's got. He does have a blodging witch elf. Yeah. It's going to be tough to take down, but not really doing a whole lot right now. No, uh, witch elves are, they are really lethal in that they have jump up and frenzy, but then they also have low armor value. So you, you want to try and punch dudes with her or score. Yeah. She's, she's actually really good. All over. She's got dodge from the get go. So she can, which is pretty awesome for an elf team. I know a lot of positionals have it on different elf teams, but it's it's just good to have a an agility four guy with dodge. It means they they can really dodge the fuck around, and they're annoying as hell. And they've got jump up, so even if you do get them down, they're moving a long way when they do get up. Yeah. And frenzy. Um, I usually have have really bad runs with my uh, with my witch elves on my dark elf teams. I have them fumble and stuff like that, and also in the actual board game because they keep dying as soon as I buy the second one. Yeah. Like whenever I buy the second one, the first one dies. It's awful. I got my second witch elf. But then it was really good because the game freaked out and made me choose, like, not block. And it made <laughs> me choose a really bad skill that you would just never want. I think it was, like, sure feet. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, game. 
Now I've got to sack this witch elf. Excellent. <laughs> oh, it was awful. Stupid cyanide <laughs> game. <laughs> Anyways, we we haven't talked much about stab, but then again, he hasn't stabbed much. Look, look, no, stab was really good. I know, stab is. I hate, I hate stab, seeing as I'm the one that's gonna be on the receiving end of the stabbing. Yeah. But at least I've got my, I've got my dude set up. I've got. Um, no, wait, I don't have my dude set up. Never mind. But I do have uh, Seth Carve in the back because. The thread wants him to pass. So I'm like, what the fuck? If he's if you're gonna give him a useless skill, I'm gonna put him in the back right here and uh, just have him pick up the ball and not do anything about it. Fail the pickup because he doesn't have short hands, you jerks. <laughs> but you do have the guy with the extra arm somewhere. Yeah, he's um, he is somewhere. Is he even in he's this actually, game, or was he hurt? Yeah, he's now? number... No, no, he's number 11. He's Mr. Hadwick. Oh, good. Good. Oh, and I can't decide what to use here, so I, I went with the dodge just for the humiliation factor. Actually, no, I wanted to... I wanted to push the guy backwards. Yeah. Because I'm still really scared that that witch elf, his number 9, uh, Vince Noir, is just going to... Dodge through and pick up, uh, pick up the ball because witch elves are known to do that, and they're all jerks. Yeah, they do. That is my story. Do that. That's the thing they do is go. Oh yeah, I've got four oh. agility. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh. Yeah, the cow just killed someone. Finally. He he killed him so hard he had to use his apothecary, and then he just got badly hurted and jumped off and ran off the pitch. Nope, nope, that's fine. That dude. Damn, that is only the second turn. Yep. It's a good start for me. Yeah, damn, the, these Dark Elves. They're going down. That's my story. <laughs> that was his... Um, here, here I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna pick up this freaking ball. So I do. Finally? Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's not my fault he's awful. It's your fault. No, he's got strong arms. <laughs> he's really good at lifting. Doesn't sh <laughs> Like lifting the ball. It's a heavy ball, okay? <laughs> mm hmm So that's your story then? Yeah. It's he... a heavy ball? Yeah. If he didn't have strong arms, then he would have had even more difficulty with it. You're just not looking yeah. at the silver lining of this cloud. <laughs> Oh, um, we haven't actually talked anything, well, considering we're not that far into it, but uh, Nuggan just had his one of his assassins out, and even though it sucks to be down players, having, having a numerical disadvantage can really fuck you over, but I'm of the position that one of the few teams that actually can handle uh, such a disadvantage would be the Dark Elves. Yeah, definitely. Because they they can they got agility four so they can easily pass and run and they're not fast but they're at least decent. Yeah. But more importantly, they do have a lot of dudes that have block and actually offensive uh, um, off offensive skills rather than just passing skills. Yeah. Which I'm gonna argue they're one of the few, not that there are that many dark elf te I mean elf teams, but they're probably the most offensive. Uh, in 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 trying to hurt the other uh, the other team, yeah, they're the for most sure. offensive elf team. Yeah, wood elves are about running and passing. High elves are all about capitalizing on a mistake and passing. Pro elves yeah. are about running and passing and being pro. And then I dark love elves, pro elves, they're the bastion side of elves. They can still do the rest, yeah. but they are a lot more business buzz term proactive about it yeah. and here I fucked up because I'm I, I'm trying to I want to use set carb to pass to uh, um, Mr. Hadwick but to do that I had to blitz his uh, uh, blitzer 
number one, um, follow number one. However, had I actually failed that, uh, Mr. Uh, Seth would have been all alone because I moved my demand before I should have. But, but it worked it, out. had a happy ending. Yeah, yeah, it worked out fine. Look at this pass. Well, everyone fails on a one. Damn, look how good he was. <laughs> see? Strong arm. It's like they're built for it. Yeah, strong arm and extra arms. They totally didn't see that. Look, he threw that ball three squares. <laughs> he couldn't have done that without a strong arm. I'm telling you. I don't know what you're so bitter about. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. Damn, you're just gonna kill this elf. That 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 is the plan. <laughs> it's the it's the one way for the cow to get star play points. The um, yeah, the dark elf runner is new. In this edition, they mm -hmm. used to. I think they used to have a thrower, but not a catcher. Yeah, they did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's okay when you're all agility four, but it's not great. But I really it, like it, the runner. Like he's fast. He's got dump off, which is a, a fun and cool skill. Like if you get blocked, yeah. you can go. Oh no! Oh damn! For, for those not, <laughs> for those not looking at the team roster at home, a dark elf runner has seven movement, three strength, four agility, and seven armor value, and dump off. And dump, Except dump Nuggins off. runners, dump off. Except Nuggins runners also have block because they're yeah. leveled up, probably by scoring. But you just Ethan. killed those assassins. Yeah, Ethan, tell me what dump off is. Dump off is when you have a block declared against you. Um, before anything happens, you can decide to make. I uh, think it's a quick or short pass. It might only be quick, but it might be short. Mm -hmm. But you can make a pass, and there's all the negative modifiers because there's a dark guy next to you. But it means if you do go down, you might have got rid of the ball to one of your guys. And when your entire team is agility you four. You're probably gonna catch it, and then you can run your really good guys away, and have a good time. And it means that if there's what if there's two elves hanging around, the one's got dump off, you do actually have to take both out, or otherwise there's gonna be a catch. Yep. And I just looked up the rules, and you can only do a quick pass. Right. Yeah, I wasn't sure, but yeah, that's still pretty good. It, it is it is really good if if for, for one thing you can actually hopefully at least influence the way the ball scatters away from you yeah it, it's even better on a on a pro elf or i think they're just called elves now one of those teams because they their catchers have nerves of steel which means yeah. they ignore tackle zones when catching or passing unless yeah. they've changed that as well no. No need. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Go pass, down. catch, and intercept. Also, look at that bit of elf bow. That is why I dislike playing against elves, and that is why I love playing as elves, because they can pull that off. I can't pull that off with a chaos yeah, team. Yeah, that is. Yeah, a dude <laughs> surrounded by guys just going, "Oh yeah, don't mind me. I'm out." Wow. I just. Damn. And remember, this is this is me receiving. So if he actually scores here, so he's in a really good position to freaking win. Well, yeah. Well, he's elves. That's what they do. They win. Well, they win yeah. on the scoreboard. I mean, they don't win morally <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Just freaking witch elves. Which holes looked really cool in like, the board game because they look like weird yeah. cult women instead of Rides of Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. I love my uh, Mina Witch holes. So here I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to uh, put as many guys next to him so he's at least forced to dodge. when he's going to run out and score. Come on, cow! 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Knocking them all out. And that was a blodger. Yeah. This is all Meaning... helping. Like, um, I think elves can score with the minimum amount of players, because that's what they do. But it's still not nice to have twice as many dudes on the other team ready to beat the crap out of you. No, it's not. Um, I would agree. It's actually pretty awful. But here we go. I mean, he's got... Where he, he makes <laughs> it happen. Yeah. Um, I can't actually remember what Nugget does here, but I'm sure it's... Uh, it's probably agility based. Oh. oh he's he's going to throw it. No, he, he's psyching me out. He's just, he's taking a break. He's deciding what to do. Oh. Damn, he... Damn. Yeah, he... I, he... I wasn't expecting that. But you were expecting that. Yeah, I was. Still, he actually, <laughs> that was, he got a minus three to his roll for uh, for dodging into that tackle zone. Damn, he did. That is, yeah, that's not yeah, a good he, move. It would have been as awful had he just passed the ball. Yeah. And one of your guys might have caught it. Yeah, it's, it might not have been a, been a good move. But it wasn't. It wasn't a bad one. <laughs> it, it wasn't the worst thing he could have done. No, because ha had he had he dodged and he he would have rolled six, he would probably have made the second dodge, and then he'd be off. Yeah. And I'd be pissed. But now, luckily, I can take it out on his guys. Yeah. Do it. Like, Do uh, it. I don't know. Okay. Yes. And he freaking runs straight through the two other players. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> eh. he, he's a ghost. He's a ghost. As 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 soon as um as soon as he's off the pitch, he has he takes up no physical space. Is that number, number seven? I think that's one of the runners. He looks like a runner. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, Lester Corncrake. He isn't going to have a good time. He he might. Oh. Damn, that's a that's a good kick right there. Yeah. Had had he ooh, had he uh, managed to? Oh, that. <laughs> See. <laughs> See. <laughs> that's what they do. Cool, now he can <sighs> throw it to number 8, and then number 8 can score. No, he, he can't because he blitzed. Fuck, you're right. Damn. Lucky me. Well, yeah, lucky you. Instead, he just punches my dudes. No, Mikey's okay. Yeah, that's all, I, that's all that matters, really. In the end, and it's at this point I'm um, I'm really scared that I won't have enough time to actually score since it's my sixth round, and if I knock the ball loose this round, I still need to pick it up and then move all the way down the pitch. Yeah, and he's faster than me, and also better at touching the ball. Yeah. And just everything involved with that. Yeah. So N Nuggins you doing. Uh, you, can, you can punch him real good. I I can. Uh, I just wanted to. I just wanted to compliment Nuggin. That's all. He's doing a really. He's been really annoying. The jerk. He even had to move oh, Mr. Hadwick yeah. down. He he was gonna score. He was. Yes. Dio is probably 
He's been doing nothing but awesome this whole half. He he's MVP every game. He MVP in my heart. If I could, I would pee him. No, I'm I'm not gonna finish that. Yeah, yeah, please don't. No, I'm not. Yes. Good cow. Yeah. He's doing well. And now. Morticia's the florist hasn't done much at all. I I hate it when you get a few players a few games in that hasn't managed to get any star player points. They're like, you've been playing with them just as long as everyone else, but they're like, nope, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt anyone. I'm not going to touch the ball. I'm just going to stand here and be annoying. So, yeah, I've got two rounds to, uh, <clears throat> to pick up the ball and run it down the pitch. That's going to need some going for it. It might, yeah. It's yeah. I I haven't done many one one die blocks yet, but Nuggins having a good run. Yeah, luckily he's he, okay. yeah, but luckily he's pulling his punches because he's not hurting me that much. He's, I say confidently. I do like how because he's an elf, he's only just used his reroll. Yep. Just like, yep, don't mind me. End of the first half. Do -do. Yeah, we were we were talking about that while playing. That he finally got his first reroll. And I told him the tale of Blister. And people messaging him on Skype. No, I'm sorry, Steam. Well, Calling when, him an idiot. When you're an elf team, you don't really need rerolls if if you're good at risk assessment. Yeah, I mean, having having rerolls as an elf, that's just a... That's a great bonus. Like, it's it's really nice to have, but... I don't expect elf teams to have that many rerolls. Because their guys Maybe one. are expensive. Yeah, they're expensive as fuck. Well, actually, they're really, really, really expensive. Oh, yeah. Mr. The Fister does something useful. Actually, yeah, so he's got an MVP, so he's done something. All he has to do is complete a pass, and he'll be golden. Damn, even better. Yeah. Oh. Even better, better. That cow. Yeah, are you keeping up, keeping up with the uh, casualty counts? Because that's the second one this game for the cow. Finally, finally. Yeah. He he really likes elves for some reason. And it was nice. I saw you counting those squares. Yeah. Because, that witch um, elf being out is gonna be huge. Cause now you can yeah. you can even stand near the edge okay. of the field now. Yeah. You don't even have to be scared. I won't be. Not anymore. That's that's like a hundred thousand worth of player just yeah. gone. Damn, one hundred and ten. Check this out. So I'm like, fuck, I I can't really reach it. Maybe I can. Can I? What do I need to do? Uh. Counting. One going for it. Only just, yeah. only just making it. Damn. Yeah. Damn, I, I, was, I think you've still got to go for it again. Next I do. Turn. I do. I, I was considering passing the ball with the magic card, but I I didn't feel... That's, I felt would, it would just that, amount to failure. Yeah, that is much rather than like... Three rolls of anything but a one. You've got to do one. I've got roll. to do two. Two rolls. I, I've got yeah. to do. Yeah, I've got to do two rolls. 
that are three, uh, four and three. Yeah, I think they're four and three. Yeah. But that guy can still be a jerk about it, and so can uh, his runner. Look at that poor cow. See? See? <sighs> Freaking. No! No, it's okay. You're a, you're a big strong guy. I am. And but had I not had I not had block, he it wouldn't have been a happy ending. Yep. It would have been sad times all around. And that's why Chaos Warriors with the ball are really good times. Yep. Hell yeah. There we go, so I got him out of the way. This is my last round, so it's all down to this. Yeah. Hell yeah, big cow. Oh yeah, it all coming up, chaos. And here I'm doing some last minute. Since that's as far as I can go, I figure if I put uh, Ragnar Berserk Anger next to him, he might, even if I fail this, I've got a 1 in 8th chance of it scattering to him. Yeah. But I didn't! Hell yeah. Yeah. Yup, yup. Was that T.I.? Okay. No, that was the magic card. Oh yeah. I think he's only one touchdown away from leveling up again. I think so, yeah. There's the team looking good. Yep. Even got one guy standing out. Oh, both the assassins are back. Yep. <clears throat> because of the whole if an apothecary re rolls you to be badly hurt, you're actually just fine. Mm hmm So what and uh and this is my setup for defense. I've got my block on my line and my Minotaur. One turn of defense, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean I I, I could have put like the rest of the guys further back, but it's if I do that then I need to reposition them at the start of the next uh, half. And I'm lazy. So you you give up a, um, an impossible goal that they cannot possibly score. Yep. Damn, you got an extra reroll. Yeah, I know. It's super useful. And they're both back, and straight away they're stabbing. Just you can't you can't stab a cow. That's not how it works. No. Um, stabbing, by the way, means you, in, instead of throwing block dice, you just roll for uh, armor value, and if you make it through, then uh, you roll an injury roll, and the guy is, is uh, stunned, knocked out, or uh, a casualty happens. And if you don't roll over the armor value, nothing at all happens. Yep. Damn. Look at that freaking elf. Then he failed when he's going for it. Well, they don't call him Twinkle Toes for nothing. <laughs> and that's half time! One yeah. nothing to me. I love Dark Elf. Look at him. And I've got, I've got 11 dudes left. Because one got sent off. For fouling, which I, I think is okay. And. Um, uh, he's, he's down got, to nine. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs>